races again tomorrow. Just how are you feeling uh, heading into and what do you look into anything? I'm really excited. Um, I think more than anything, application of everything that we've worked on this week and just building our chemistry. You know, we have a lot of new people again this year, so building on what we've had so far. 44. This week on Kelly Pound. 42. You guys both, you know, you hardly see your wrestling, both play at 42 in the season, but you had a most of early week off, I guess, 40 first sack. Yep. How, how did you guys feel and how did it feel to kind of have to go into your first game with just one practice and 45? Well, it feels like we had our first game today, so <laughs> I did a lot of scrimmaging. Um, I mean, it's a balance, right? So we did miss that week of building that chemistry with the other players, but getting that week off, it's going to be such a long season. I think it was critical for us to get that rest. Uh, so again, that's why tomorrow is so important is to build some of that stuff that we missed during the week. But I think we have a really great group. Everyone is a smart basketball player, which helps a lot in building that. So um, I'm excited. Yeah, and luckily, Fee and I have been here long enough. We know Cheryl's like the, the basics and the principal, kind of like the stuff they went through the first couple of practices we've done however many times. So it's always good to get those reps, but um, it's stuff we know. We've been around the gym. We were watching practice. So, uh, but it was good to get out there today and get us get sweated. Coach is in. Talking right from the start, that she wanted to kind of approach this preseason with the play, and sort of she wants to win these games, get you guys into a niche where you can kind of start the season a little better than you have the last couple of years. What have you noticed as far as the difference in emphasis? Defense. We started the first day with defense, so that's a huge. It's an emphasis every year, but I don't think we've ever started the first day with that before. So it's something that she's really like honing in on this year. And even though there are new faces. The vast number of roster spots are kind of, you kind of know who's going to be on this team. So it was just a matter of kind of getting chemistry and to start this time rather than kind of figuring out who's going to be on the roster. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, like you said, we had our core group back anyway. It's just plugging us back in, the people who have set out. You know, BC and I are both out, K Mac is out, Dork is not here. So just like plugging us in, um, but yeah, new faces are really coachable, so it's been really fun so far. Yeah, and it honestly feels like Courtney and Tisha and Alana have been here. Like yeah. they're vets, they've been in the league for long enough that they they know what Cheryl wants, they know what she expects, and they fit in really seamlessly. They know each other. They know and they know each other. And uh, like I played with both Courtney and Tisha in my rookie year in Connecticut, so uh, they fit in pretty seamlessly. Was there any? No, go ahead, Was there anything more you learned playing overseas and where to break that? 46 uh, to this game. Learn. It's honestly really different than in the W, so I learned different things. I don't know if they apply here, um, honestly, but I think it was just fun playing with Mac again, continuing to build our own court chemistry and uh, getting those even more reps in. You always try to work on things a little bit more overseas that you can bring back in the W, so shooting more threes, a little bit more off the bounce, those kind of things. But style of play wise, uh, it's been a little different. <laughs> you, you look at at the kind of the way this roster has been tweaked. Very yeah. fun. More depth of call, more depth of three point shooting. Mm -hmm. You mean, what do you think is going to benefit the most from that? Like, you or K Mac? I mean, K Mac because she's, you know, they yeah. can't just focus on her three. Yeah. Or are you maybe because there's going to be more space inside of me? How do you, how do you analyze that? I honestly think everyone, you know, when you have more of a true point guard, it helps every person on the court. So it's going to help me in pick and roll. It's going to help Mac that we have more shooters um, and a guard who's able to get her the ball maybe a little bit faster. So I think it's going to help every position, honestly. I think it will help be a lot, though, because she needs two defenders on her. No one can guard her one-on-one. -on -one, so uh, if they do want to send a double team, um, we have shooters spotted up, and this space is going to be available for her to take out the dribble, be in the post, do whatever she wants. So. Everyone will benefit, but for people. <laughs> uh, Cheryl mentioned yesterday that you and K-Mac are the co-captains of this team. I believe you were the only formal captain last year. I know K-Mac was a captain in a lot of you know senses of the word uh, like last year as well. But just what does that mean to you to have a player that you have so much chemistry with, but with so much just like to be in those two leadership roles? It's great, and I think Mac definitely deserves it um, to have. She has. She is a vet, but she also brings that veteran presence. Um, that maturity and that knowledge of the game and that leadership on the court. And so I think having her be a captain is really natural for us. And I believe this was her first practice on the floor um, today. That might have been the first one as well. Just Does that sort of up the intensity a little bit, just like having those central figures that you mentioned had been sitting out the last few days just back on the board practicing together? Um, I don't know about intensity. I think they've done a really great job of keeping the intensity up in practice. But I think it shows you 
it gets like more game rest because it's more, more of a true what the team is going to look like. Uh -huh. So it's building that chemistry, like I've said, with the people who are going to play. It's, you know, getting those reps in together, especially at the point guard position, because you have to see people's different style of play. So we're trying to figure out what she likes, what I like, you know, what how we're going to function as this new team. And did you have as much fun as Mila did yesterday? <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the social media reaction, yeah. but she released all the show. Um, I think Mila had more fun because she was just running everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, it's like, you were talking, she's like, hey, you're not paying attention to me. So she, I think at one point she banged us the basketball. Mila did? Yeah. Yeah. She's an only child if you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> If uh, both of you could describe just the mood here in training camp as for the for 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 Jewish Energetic. Sounds like a Yeah. Competitive. Uh, today we got to go up against each other, which was, I mean, we did a little bit throughout the last couple of days, but today was like a five minute scrimmage against each other, and you could feel the competitiveness, and even against the guys, they're beating them up, they're beating us up. So. Who won that scrimmage? Between us and the both. The guys? No, between you playing each other. The great, yeah. All right. Were you guys both on the great team? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-four. You might have answered this already, but what kind of expectations do you have to this season? Really high ones. You know, I think we already had a great 41. base that was here, and then adding these players that we have, um, it just brings us up to a whole new level. So I'm really excited. What do you more since a lot of terms of the additions? Uh, I think the variety in the depth. Um, I think we struggled with that a little bit last year, so having a true point guard, you know, having, like he mentioned, some depth at the shooting position to relieve some people, um, yeah.